Hey everybody, Nick here with the latest Platinum Metal video in the Iron Harvest Operation Eagle campaign. Before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you went down below and hit the like and subscribe button. For today's video, we'll be taking on the second Operation Eagle mission, Hostile Takeover. We only have two additional challenges for the Platinum Metal on this mission. We can only build airships and infantry units, and we cannot exceed an army size of 55. Let's go ahead and get started. At the start of the mission, have your engineers build a base. Have your volunteers collect nodes in the starting area and then send them north to capture a node and some additional resources. Send William West to dispatch some enemy infantry in a colicle, and then collect the nodes and resources in that area as well. Back at base, you should have a barracks and a workshop. Build some anti-mech gunners and set them up near the base. Some patrolling enemies with some colicles will approach from the east. Around this time, all your units should be converging back into the area. Defend your base until all enemy units are destroyed. Push east and use William's exosuit to destroy the enemy HMG in the area. Capture the two nodes in the east, and then fight off two incoming enemy patrols that include some colocals and agnevos. Around this time, you should be able to start building reveres from your workshop. As soon as you have two, send them up to the secondary objective to destroy the enemy base. You'll also need to build an airlift and send it over to the right drawbridge. Pick up William and drop him on the other side, and then have him lower the drawbridge. What is it? Grab all you can! Captain Mason here! A few things going into the mission. Just remember you have to keep your pop cap under 55 the entire time, and you also can only build infantry and airships. So nothing else but infantry and airships. When it comes to buildings, engineers can build bunkers. They also can build mines that will not count against the objective. But remember, mines do count as one pop cap, so keep that up in your noggin for later. You don't have to do it in this order, but when I first put up the barracks, I build an anti-mech gun and a medic unit. Anti-mech gun's gonna come in helpful with all the colicals and agnevos at the beginning. Medic because we wanna get them vetted up as fast as we can so we can build a med base. As you're capping nodes, go ahead and upgrade them. Between Williams XO and all your infantry, you'll be able to take care of this patrolling unit no problem. Pushing east, you'll find more mechs and an HMG. Lead the way with Mason and his exosuit. Around this time, you should be able to build into your first revere. For now, set up his rally point to meet up with our units in the east. Two big patrols of enemy units will approach from the east. These will consist of Colicos, Agnivos, Grozas, and some other infantry. With the mix of Mason's exosuit, your infantry, and your incoming revere, you should be able to fight off these incoming enemies.
With the enemies cleared out in the south, send your reveres up to destroy the base in the northeast. Around this time, you'll also want to upgrade your barracks so you can build into an airlift later. At the enemy base, have your Revere units focus fire on infantry. The Notco that's sitting there can't touch you, so we'll leave it for later. Build an airlift and send it over to pick up William. Once it picks up William, have it drop him off on the other side and lower the bridge. If your Revere are attacked by patrolling enemies, go ahead and focus on the infantry that can fire on them first, and then take out the rest of the units. Once the coast is clear again, have them focus on the enemy base. Continue to pump out Reveres and send them up to help. At this point, your Revere should be close to destroying the enemy base. Once they've completed the secondary objective, send them back down south to help the rest of your units. Push all your infantry across the right bridge, clear out any enemies in the area, and pick up enemy nodes. The path to our immediate right, south of the base we just destroyed, will have enemies coming from it constantly throughout the mission. To help hold this off, we're going to build a bunker on the path. Between the bunker, your infantry units, and your Revere's, you should be able to hold the path. Send William to the west to the second drawbridge. Have him clear out enemies and lower the second drawbridge. Once the area is cleared out, send him north to the enemy refinery. Up north, you want to use William's exosuit to clear out four AA guns. Once all four are taken out, you can move the rest of your units into the refinery area and capture the VP. I can't stress this enough, this is a really bad med base placement by me. Do not, I repeat, do not put it here. You're better off building it somewhere between the two drawbridges. What happens later on is I'm attacking the base, taking out AA guns, and I retreat units, and they retreat right through the refinery, and it ends up costing me those units. Once you find a moment of peace after crossing the bridge, go ahead and build a bunker just south of that iron mine ahead of you. You're also going to want to upgrade that to a flame bunker. This will help with the non-stop enemies coming in. You can also place gunners in here to help out as well. With the enemy base destroyed, send your reveres back down south to help near the bunker we just built.
With things set up in the east, go ahead and send William over to the west. We're going to send him to lower that second drawbridge. If you have any extra gunners, you can send them with William. You can also build into some extra reveres to send with him as well. Just make sure you're keeping an eye on your pop cap. Also check back in the east from time to time to make sure you're not getting destroyed over there. At the refinery, set up William's exosuit to fire on the AA gun. Some other enemies will approach. You can send in some gunners to help out, but keep your air units back. If things get too hairy, have William and your gunners come back to the gunships and lure the enemy into their fire. With the first AA gun destroyed, you can move your reveres up from the south. Don't bring them up too far though because the other AA guns can destroy them very quickly. Use William and your infantry to destroy the remaining AA guns and any enemies in the area.
With all the enemies cleared out, you can start setting up your defenses for the next part. I go into more detail in it on the map. Just a quick note, I usually have the Reveres travel in packs of three, with three packs defending the three different entrances. I let the airlift roam around taking out random infantry, and I have infantry spread around helping the Reveres. Some folks like to set up mines and try to defend the base back down south, but I think it's a lost cause and we should just let it go. After the cutscene, you'll have 60 seconds to get ready for the oncoming attack. Send two to three Reveres to the northern entrance to the refinery. You can send anti-mech guns up north to support them. At the main entrance, set up Mason's exosuit and support it with a few Revere units. You can also pick up one of the many weapon systems in this area to support the middle. For this video, I decided to go with one mortar. I also added some support to the middle with an extra gunner unit. For the south entrance, I only guarded it with two reveres. During the enemy wave, if any of the entries are getting overwhelmed, don't be afraid to move a revere or two from another one of the entries. New primary objective received. Tell me there's a plan. There's no question this bunker will be destroyed. I left it up with a revere by it to knock out some infantry, take out some extra hits to soften the blow in the middle when they get there eventually. No maps here for this part. Move Georgia's air fleet toward the refinery, taking out enemies along the way. For enemy ground units, use your gunships, and for enemy air units, use your sky bikes. George and the Revere's can help clean up the rest.
Once you've destroyed the last invading unit, you'll get a cutscene, the mission will end, and you'll have earned your latest platinum medal in the Iron Harvest campaign. Check for the wounded. Don't leave anyone behind. Yes, sir. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. We've got more Operation Eagle Plat videos on the way. In the meantime, stop by for a Twitch live stream at 8 p.m. Chicago time, Tuesday through Thursday each week. And follow me on the following social medias. Keep harvesting, and we'll see you next time, everybody.